going on guys welcome back to the channel and today I want to show you guys something I want to talk to y'all about computers and pricing and things like that uh, basically what I was doing is I was looking at this system here it's a six core Xeon E5 1650 and it has a GTX 1060 2 terabyte station basically I was looking for a superior photo and video editing and gaming workstation something that i could edit and do everything hold all of my information something that would you know be separate from my daily driver and i was looking at this one and maybe i could build it cheaper you know uh it's about 700 dollars or so for this system but that's not what i want to talk to you guys about i want to talk to you all about this thing check this sucker out this is a full tower editing rendering media workstation computer it has an intel core i9 9920x 3.5 gigahertz all right that thing's insane it's a 12 core cpu all right and on top of that it has 128 gigs of ddr4 memory a 10 terabyte hard drive coupled with a one terabyte mvme ssd and then along with that, it has a Wi-Fi card in it, a thousand watt PSU, and two-way SLI, all right, RTX 2080 Ti 11 gig cards. That is insane, all right. Let's just look at it real fast. It has an Asus Prime X299 Deluxe motherboard in it. Uh, it has a thermal take, tough power, thousand watt, 80 plus gold rating. All right, that's good. Uh, it comes with a DVD drive. No one cares about that. Windows 10 Professional. It has a LAN and Wi-Fi card. Da, 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 da. Three-year parts warranty. Wow, that's really good. I'll check that out. They even offer it in a 64 gig model. Well, they want six thousand six hundred dollars for 64. What is that? It's about four hundred, five hundred dollars for just another 64 gigs of RAM. $500, that sounds expensive for 64 gigs of DDR4. Wow. But anyway, I was looking at this. I'm like, wow, they want $7,000 for this computer? That's insane. Like, they must they must probably build this for, like, this is what I was thinking. They probably build it for, like, four or five grand. And, or, I'm sorry, three or four grand and sell it for four or five. You know, I'm like, and now they want seven for it? I'm like, these dudes are going to make at least a couple grand off of this computer uh easily because they want seven seventy one hundred dollars for it so i was thinking all right let's go to pcpartpicker.com this is an awesome website guys if you know nothing about computers this will help you build a computer basically it has a list on the left hand side of everything you need to build a system and you go through it and you try to pick parts that you want at the top here it will let you know if those parts are compatible with each other which is a big help, a big help, because you don't know if this I, if this CPU will work with this motherboard. If you're new to computers or know little about computers, then you know this you, you could be in some shit. So this right here, this is an awesome tool, and it's free to use. It's PCPartPicker.com, guys. Got to use it. So anyway, I went through the list um, since it gives a pretty detailed list down here at the bottom of what is in it you know a zeus prime x299 deluxe tough power da 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 10 terabyte blah 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 blah. it gives me names so i looked it up i put it together as you can see the 12 core processor is a thousand dollars in itself it has a cooler master 240 millimeter liquid cooler uh, i couldn't find a price for that it's probably about 100 maybe 200 bucks for it the zeus prime x299 deluxe this is a 500 hundred dollar motherboard but look how beautiful it is oh my god that thing is gorgeous has power reset built right onto the board has a error code error code readout uh, looks like a CMOS and probably a reset button has RGB. I like this with the RAM splits the CPU because then it looks it looks better like that. Especially if you have RGB RAM in there, 
um, having all your bling on one side looks goofy and then you have this big open black space but usually a cool you know that's where your mosfets or something like that will sit for your your power distributors for the cpu and stuff um, but it takes two eight pin cpu plugs to run oh my god that's insane standard 24 uh it's x99 deluxe so it's definitely has two m.2 slots in it wow beautiful board i can see why it's 500 dollars but that wouldn't be something that you would need. Moving on. Now, it wasn't very clear. It just said that it's 128 gigs of DDR4 high performance memory. Okay. So I went with this, the G Skill Trident Z 128 gig. Uh, it's $1,100. It did say it was high performance memory. So I was assuming that this is probably somewhere in the ballpark of what they would put in there. And then down here, you got the Barracuda Pro, 10 terabyte, 7,200 RPM for $300, $310. Wow, that's a lot. And then that is running with a, a Samsung 970 Evo, 1 terabyte MVSSE. And that was 170 bucks. And then this is where all your money goes, right here. Not only are you getting one, but you're getting two of these RTX 2080 Ti's. Let me tell you something. Just one of these cards, just one 2080 Ti 11 gig card will do anything and everything you want it to do. Having two of them is just waste of spending. I mean, I guess it's I guess if you have the money and you want to do it, then do it. But the whole idea of running SLI is basically that the two graphics cards split the workload of the, of whatever it's rendering you know you'll have one of the graphics cards that will do the shading and the sh you know color objects and lighting and then you'll have the other one that'll do uh texture and you know color and all this other stuff the gamma It'll, you know that's what i do instead of your one single graphics card doing all of that work you can split it between two of them and you will get a supposedly a more smoother better gaming experience but what comes with two graphics cards comes with double the work and double the price here i mean you could literally save twelve hundred dollars by taking this out of your equation and you would you would be perfectly fine with a 2080 11 gig card i mean come on uh this will play any and every game that you want and it will edit and render beautifully just as fast as you would like uh, I mean, if you were doing like big red footage where it's like a terabyte of data transfer, I mean, come on guys, we use like our computers, when we do file transfers, they're like 250 megabytes or 500 megabytes. And if you're using like a, like an MVE, you might get like 1300 megabytes worth of data transfer. This we're talking about over a terabyte. You know, 50, 60, 70 gigs worth of data being transferred in one shot. And I can see where you would need this type of system to be able to handle that. You would probably also need a 10 gigabit LAN port to run it too successfully. Um, but anyway, if, you know, you could definitely save some cost by taking this out of the equation. But this is a balls of the wall rig, so we might as well do it. And then also you have your thermal take. 1000 watt 80 plus gold tough power supply um when it comes to manufacturers and it comes to them building cases like this um the first thing that they usually cheap out on guys is the power supply um, anytime you're buying these already pre-built systems usually they put a um you know the cheapest power supply that they can get or they will try to save as much as money as they can on the power supply and then the next thing to go is the case they usually try to put you in a cheap case or what they'll do is they'll say oh yeah you have 16 gigabytes of ram but when you open the machine up it's literally one stick one single stick of 16 gigs and they do that by saving money and by not having to put you know all those other sticks in there and filling them up um, you know, they, they'll cut costs where they can. So speaking of cost, I, what, it, what brought me to this was I was thinking that you could build this machine for, you know, two or three thousand dollars and then sell it like what they're doing for seventy one hundred dollars. You know, they're going to make a few grand off of this machine. Nope, that is not the case. 
Once we put the parts together, the grand total brought us to $5,800. Now you throw some taxes in there and you'll probably be at the $6,000 mark. Now that does not include, okay, for us that does not include the case. That doesn't include the, the optical drive. That does not include the operating system and it doesn't include that, it, that Wi-Fi card and all the other little software like they had Windows Office and it had, um, you know, couple other software deals in with mixed in with the deal you know you add that right there in there you know that optical drive that's a hundred I'm sorry the operating system is like a hundred bucks optical drive could be like 30 40 bucks uh, a case a case to be able to hold all this shit you're going to spend well over a hundred dollars on this case this is a coarse air case here and I guarantee you it's not a cheap case I mean it looks nice they got tempered glass on it um, it looks like it's a decent decently front IO on the front I don't see I only see one way of air intake and that's straight through the front which I do not like that I mean you're you're running a hell of a a lot of heat in this system you're gonna have to take that side panel off man or that shit's gonna overheat because all you have is one exhaust fan and two 120 millimeter fans bringing air in now I know why the CPU is water cooled Bo, no. So if it's water cooled, then that means those two front fans are for the the AIO, because I don't see where you could put it. To, it doesn't appear to me, looking at this image, that I can put fans there. I don't see unless that pops off or something. I don't know. It maybe it does. Maybe where you know that line is around it, uh, it pops off. But I don't know. I digress. I would see if I was to do something, I'd build it in something like this. That's a beautiful case right there. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. 8,500. Jeez, that's more than the one that we're looking at now. But that's pretty good. Um, here's the kind of the listing of it. Show you where your differences of price and versus the time of the date of when they were made and, and produced. Parts, parts, price, list, history, or whatever you want to call it. Um, $5,800. This is insane. But a beautiful system on top of it. I would love to have something like that. Uh, but you don't need nothing like that, guys. You really don't. Something simple, something within like the, uh, you know, five to six hundred dollar range. That's that's probably where you guys would want to be at. You know, um, an i5 like right here. Here's a an i5. It's a third gen. Ooh, that's a little on the old side. 16 gigs of RAM has 120 gig with one terabyte. Has a 1650 GTX four gig card. I mean, right there. That's a really good system. It's a little old as far as the, the the CPU is. The CPU is a third gen. I would want a newer gen because, I mean, that i5 third gen, you could put a eighth gen 3 in it, and it would be just as powerful, if not more powerful, than that i5. So, you know, food for thought. And don't forget, this PC part picker, guys, this will help you out so much. I mean, you're just, you'll, you'll love it. You'll love it. All right, guys, I think I have talked enough about parts and computers and all this other mumbo jumble. So I am going to leave you guys with an outro.